seven of the world's most remote and beautiful places. The world is forever shrinking and sometimes it seems like there is nowhere left to truly get away from it all. But there are still some places off the beaten path, or just barely on it, that retain their allure simply by virtue of being difficult to reach. We've rounded up seven of the most remote and beautiful destinations on Earth. Guaranteed to be spectacular. Well preserved and still somewhat mysterious. One, Deception Island, Antarctica. How remote is it? 11,963 kilometers from Toronto, 13,764 kilometers from London, 8,800 kilometers from Sydney. Why it's worth it? North of the Antarctic Peninsula, there is an island so surprising that Jules Verne might have made it the mysterious secret base of the Nautilus. In the seminal sci-fi novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, with its protected interior port, the island is the partially submerged caldera of an active volcano. Despite its name, it has long provided a safe harbor for sailors being tossed about in stormy seas. Here, geothermally heated water makes it one of the few places in Antarctica that you can enjoy in your swimsuit. Easter Island, Chile How remote is it? 8,438 kilometers from Toronto, 13,628 kilometers from London, 9,154 kilometers from Sydney. Why it's worth it? Although it's widely known and treasured, Easter Island is incredibly remote. The biggest tourist attractions here are the giant Moai monoliths and Despite the island's extreme geographic isolation They've been calling to travelers for centuries But the iconic statues on this UNESCO protected island are only the beginning Here You can camp under the Polynesian stars Meet and interact with the inhabitants of the world's remotest populated island and explore its natural treasures on foot and by bike. Don't miss Easter Island's caves, the flow of the lava towards the sea form channels that when cooled, turned into caves. They were used by the Rapa Nui as shelter and places to perform rituals. Getting there. Get yourself to Santiago, where you'll be limited to flights from Chile's national airline. From Chile's capital. You're looking at another six hours in the air. Prefer living the adventure to planning it? Urumqi, China How remote is it? 10,196 kilometers from Toronto, 6,224 kilometers from London, 10,764 kilometers from Sydney Why it's worth it? Once an important stop on the Silk Road, Urumqi has become a major commercial hub 
The city holds the remarkable record of being the most remote from any sea in the world. It is 2,500 kilometers, 1,554 miles, from the nearest coastline. Cyrillic signs and kebab stands lend the city a decidedly Central Asian feel, however, the majority of the city's residents are Han. Don't miss an overnight in a yurt with the local Kazakh minority in the nearby Tian Shan Mountains. This area looks more like the Swiss Alps. With towering snow-capped mountains and turquoise lakes than somewhere in the middle of China. Spend time hiking, horseback riding, or just relaxing and soaking in the views. Getting there. It might be remote, but a room she is served by a number of regional airlines. Get yourself to Beijing, where you can hop a regional airline. Or clear your schedule for a leisurely 33-hour train ride. Prefer living the adventure to planning it? Four. Madagascar How remote is it? 14,318 kilometers from Toronto, 9,042 kilometers from London, 10,099 kilometers from Sydney Why it's worth it? Alright It's the fourth largest island in the world But you'd be hard pressed to find a wilder more biologically diverse place, wild landscapes, village culture, beaches, Madagascar might be an island but there's nothing small about it. From endless jungles filled with endemic plants, rare birds, and endangered animals, to the white sand beaches of the Malagasy Islands and limestone karst formations of Ankarana. The island is an explosion of nature at each turn. Cut off from the African mainland 165 meters years ago, Madagascar evolved in isolation, leading to many unique and endemic species. Don't miss. The hands-down superstars of this wild performance are the endangered lemur, of which 90% of the surviving global population is found only here. Getting there. If you want a challenge, Boats are available from Madagascar's Tomasina on the east coast to Mauritius via Réunion. However, with regular flights from Paris to Antananarivo, we won't hold it against you if you opt for to fly. Prefer living the adventure to planning it. 5. Lake Baikal, Russia How remote is it? 9,176 kilometers from Toronto, 6,567 kilometers from London, 10,561 kilometers from Sydney. Why it's worth it. Located in South Central Siberia, not far from the Mongolian border and surrounded by mountains. Forests and wild rivers Baikal is an immense and breathtaking area of natural beauty. It's the world's oldest and deepest freshwater lake, containing roughly 20% of the world's unfrozen surface fresh water. In fact, it contains more water than all the Great Lakes combined. It is also among the clearest of all lakes, and thought to be the world's oldest at 25 meters years. Don't miss! The lake is home to more than 2,000 species of plants and animals. 
two-thirds of which can be found nowhere else in the world. Like the earless nerpa, one of the world's only freshwater species of seal. Getting there, the three main points of access to Baikal are Irkutska, Ulanude, and Slyadyanka. While you can get to Irkutska and Ulanude by plane, most travelers opt for the Trans-Siberian Railroad, prefer living the adventure to planning it. Six, Svalbard Archipelago, Norway. How remote is it? 5,388 kilometers from Toronto, 3,053 kilometers from London, 14,570 kilometers from Sydney. Why it's worth it? From close-up encounters with icebergs and glaciers to the region's plentiful wildlife, the Svalbard Archipelago is best explored by ship. On foot and via zodiac, roaming polar bears, lounging seals, grazing reindeer, and colonies of birds all coexist in this harsh land most dare. Only to explore a few months of the year, Svalbard is so remote. It's home to the Global Seed Vault which provides a safety net against accidental loss of diversity. In the event of a major regional or global catastrophe, don't miss. Polar bears usually top the list of must-see animals. But the islands abound with reindeer, arctic fox, walrus, and extensive seabird breeding colonies. getting there. Get yourself to Oslo, where you'll hop a flight north of the Arctic Circle to the city of Tromso. Because there is no regular boat transportation between the Norwegian mainland and Svalbard. You'll have to catch a flight to Longyear Buin. Svalbard's largest settlement prefer living the adventure to planning it? Seven, Perth, Australia. How remote is it? 18,143 kilometers from Toronto, 14,470 kilometers from London, 3,934 kilometers from Sydney. Why it's worth it? A city of close to 2 million. Perth might seem an outlier among its peers in this list, however, it offers up remoteness and beauty in spades. Perth is Australia's, and many say, the world's most isolated city. Almost 4,000 kilometers from Sydney by road. A four-hour flight from the East Coast. And in a different time zone, Western Standard Time, to the rest of the country. That said, Perth's pristine parkland nearby bush and river and ocean beaches, there are 19 within the metropolitan area. Make it a perennial favorite of world's most livable cities lists. So it's worth the effort. Don't miss. Kings Park and Botanic Garden is one of the world's largest and most beautiful inner city parks. Enjoy sweeping views of the Swan and Canning Rivers. The city skyline and the Darling Ranges to the east. It's rich in Aboriginal and European history and contemporary culture. Getting there.
The three-day journey to Perth from Sydney aboard the Indian Pacific is stuff legends are made of. However, Qantas flies daily from all capitals as well as Alice Springs. Ready to hit up the world's most remote city with a population in excess of 1 million?